Well, howdy, Prospector Paul here. I hope they're in your subscription today. We're getting real close to a thousand subscribers, and in honor of that, we're going to be giving some stuff away. So, we're going to give away one nugget. We're also going to give away a new metal detector. It's a Mine Lab Go Find. Won that the other night. My fortune is your fortune. I'm going to pass that along to y'all. Also, we're going to be giving away gold. So every episode I film in the field, until we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give away the gold I find. You can see some right in that pan right there. All right, so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it helps me out a lot. Once we get 1,000 subscribers, we're going to draw for all these prizes. <laughs> we're going to draw for the gold, the metal detector, the nugget, and maybe some other things that I find along the way. I did find an Indian Ed Penny out here the other day. So anyways, on with the show. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Well, good morning. Prospector Paul here. We're out in the Arizona desert today, and we're doing some metal detecting. We got a little camp set up over there, and a whole bunch of people out here metal detecting. And we got the Reverend on a target right now. Not in that scoop. Sure it's out of the hole? Pinpointed with that uh monster. Just have to move that coil back for a minute. So we're tag teaming with uh, a couple of pulse machines and a uh, gold monster 1000. And uh, that way we don't have to dig a 20 inch hole to, to find our target because you can't swing the 11 inch coil in it. It says it's right there, Chief. You want to find it? Yeah, just pinpoint it with that. Well, it said it was right there. You know what? His hole, his hole. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. There you got her. If I we got to a target in the hole. scoop. All right. Yep. He's got her. Look at your oh, there's a black rock. Oh, hot rock. Nah, they ain't picking that up. This would pick oh, it up. Oh, that's good news. It is. It ain't picking up hot rocks. Oops. Uh-oh. Good deal. Still in the scoop. Well, I've, you do this. I've already learned more than I knew because you've got me doing this right. Are you do you this 300 times and you'll be so fast at it. Yeah, I've done it like 10. <laughs> That's good. It's staying in the bottom of the scoop. Keep getting it thinner and thinner. Hope it's gold. What would Laurel would gold be doing in the middle of this? Some prospector dropped it. Now it's in your hand. Throw the stuff in the scoop away. Put half in the scoop. Or check it. Oh, it's a piece 20, of... 22 slow. It's a piece of... Check, your, check the dirt, though. That is a 22 slug. Yep. So far, my sticks are doing good. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> First target of the day. <laughs> we'll be All back right. when we get some gold or another good target. Let me get that water time. Go ahead. Go back in. So we got a target. Okay. Should I go sideways like this again? Sure. Well, that's really screaming now. Yeah, it's going back and forth on this. So you want to go where the M is. Yeah, but when it's making noise. It's right here. Okay, let me run that over there. So, so I can swing get it. it. So if you slow it down just a little bit, see where that M was when it made the noise? Yeah. Yep. That's how you how you do that. See, I was swinging it too fast, wasn't I? There you go. Okay. Now you're in. The, now you got her. Now they tell me you can't be this deep because of high mineralization. Right. right? So you take your yep. Take, take scoop. Yeah, take take your scoop and uh, pull a little bit back. See if you can get it out of the hole. You're such a good teacher. Well, I watched a few videos, and I got to thank some other people for that. So. But no, you're really good at this. Well, I've done it a lot. And you have patience. Yeah, you got to have patience. I tried to do it a lot, but. Here. So I checked the hole in the dirt, right? Yep. It's out of there. Now you got a plastic scoop? Yep. I got a pink one. <laughs> I got a pink 
for girls. Lisa's got to have a pink scoop. <laughs> so here we go. Hey, she just pulled that out of her ass. <laughs> <laughs> so will it pick it up on this? Yep, just slide it. It's in the scoop. Pour half in your hand. You can use your ring hand because you're not going to run that dirt over there. Yep. Throw that dirt away. There you go. Now you got her. Rinse and repeat. I know, I want to use my right hand. Of course yeah, I will do it. <laughs> I'm going to guess BB. Really loud. Wop, whoop, pop. That's a good sound. Is it? Mm hmm. It just means it's non ferrous. It's staying in the scoop, so it's either lead or gold. Oh, it's in your hand. Throw all that stuff away. Yep, there you go. Yep, about half. Okay, still in your hand. Still in your hand. Yeah, check well, it out. Oh, God, I stuck it all in there. That's all right. Well, it gets down in your in the crevices of your hand. There you go. Now you got her in the scoop. Might be able to find it. You got, you got younger eyes. <laughs> here you go. I would. Oh, here it is right here. It's a piece of splattered lead. No, it's not gold. Another. That's it right there. Another target down. I don't know if they're giving prizes away for uh, the most targets or whatever. If you want to keep it, it's yours. Nope. Let's, I got uh, full pockets. I'll put it in my yeah, pouch. Yeah, we, we always take the trash out. All right, we'll get back with him when we get another one. Right here. Oh, boy. So, we've been out here for a few hours and digging a whole bunch of targets, a lot of bullets. And uh, come across this big old deposit. It's all in layers. And we got a tone down in here. And we busted a little bit of the material out and the tone got a lot louder. And I can't imagine somebody buried an old pop can back in here and put all that caliche back in front of it. So it's a good chance this is exactly what we're looking for. Future Paul will know, but right now I have no clue what this is. So we're going to find out. All right, so I'm trying to stay back. The ground balance in the machine. We're going to see if we got it out or... If uh, if we got it louder, you got it out. You got it out. Absolutely. Here's a scoop. All right. This is teamwork now. Let's see if get her done, if what Rev. What my buddy Paul taught me is going to work. <laughs> oh, get her done, Rev. Not that one. Yep. Oh, come on. <coughs> oh, ho, 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 It's in the scoop. Do the professional thing there. It's still in the scoop. That's a good tone, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice. Staying deep. It ain't no hot rock. Not with that machine. It ain't a mind lab. They're the monster. Whew. That's exciting. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's got the best sound. It's crisp, too. Oh, it's in your hand. Throw all that out. Yeah. Check that. Oh, boy. Check that rock, but I don't think that's it. Where is it at? Still in the scoop. This is exciting. Oh, it's staying deep. That's good. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. Are you kidding me? A piece of... Somebody shot into the frickin' wall. <laughs> the Lord does work in mysterious ways. Well, well that, that sure was that a hard stopper. That metal detector found that at what? Oh, goodness. It had that to was... be 12, 13 inches. Absolutely. And in this old bank, you would think. I mean, this was here before the old timers. They, did, they didn't dig this for some reason. Oh, I don't know if that'll make the uh, blooper reel or if that's a good one. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. So everybody's working this because we found out that these are old workings that they brought out of the mine 
and they never did anything with it. They just screened off the one inch stuff and left this out here for us. So we're on day two of the metal detector hunt here for the LDMA. And uh, we're working on old mine. And you can see a bunch of quartz up there where they mined out a, a little spot. But this stuff's pretty interesting. It's just full of iron and copper. And, and we got a, got a malachite piece here. That's just one of the prettier ones I picked up. There's all kinds here. But I was up on that hill there, and I hear Lisa call out she's got a nugget. Now our tent is set up right here, and we're about 70 feet away. And you were using the Equinox? I'm using Equinox. Equinox? 800 with a 6-inch coil. And she was digging right here. And these are old uh, Chinese workings from, from in the mine. And she found a little piece of gold. Check this out. Look at that. Laying here, literally four feet from the road, right next to the bush, a couple inches down. Congratulations, yeah. Thank you. Lisa. Thank you, Paul. That was awesome. That's awesome. My first piece of gold. That's really, the biggest really cool. piece of gold I've seen in one of these bush digs. Very cool. All you got to do is it's sign up. That's it. They come out and check us out. Yeah. Awesome. One more close up. Unbelievable. Is that your biggest piece of gold, Lisa? Biggest piece of gold. Is that your first piece my of gold? First nugget. First nugget first with nugget. a with a metal detector? Yes. No, my first nugget, period. First nugget, period. <laughs> Can you believe that? So there you go. Yeah, Get out here out. to Arizona. Get outside, absolutely. Yes. That is so awesome. All right. All right, we got one more we're gonna go look at. That's cool. Well, that's all the footage I got from out in the field. Um, it was in fairness, it was the uh, three day hunt. And uh, it was pretty warm. It was in the upper 80s. And a lot of folks were taking a beating from the sun. And there was no clouds. And uh, so people just wanted to get out of there. I was trying to hook up with one gentleman. He found a, uh, a nice little flake in a wash. And was laying on a rock. He actually saw it before the coil swung over it. And, uh, you know, the machine went off. But he was already halfway down picking up the, the little piece of gold. And there was another gentleman found two small nuggets in a, in a big tailings pile. Um, but he was camera shy. He didn't want to be filmed. So I respect that. Uh, we can kind of go over some of the finds I got. It's uh, <laughs> quite a bit of stuff. Lots of nails. <laughs> some wire. Oh, what else is in here? Shotgun shells. Lots of pennies. little Roman token that uh, they planted out in the field for one of the hunts. Some casings, <clears throat> more wire. <clears throat> I actually won this. So I dug a coin that uh, probably one of these tokens in one of the seeded hunts. And uh, they gave me a little piece of, I think that's a 10th ounce silver round. And here's a cool find. It's a two-piece button, so it's old. It's probably around turn of the century. I wish that said Levi on it. That would really be worth something. Found an old... I think it's a Russian coin. Yeah, it is. That was in one of the seated hunts. Uh, we got a Standing Liberty Quarter. Looks like... 1925 or 26. Found a bug. <clears throat> they had a uh, couple of coins glued to the bottom of this. And that, was, that won me a prize. Look at that chunk of lead. <laughs> Where's that darn Indian head? There it is. Nineteen oh two Indian head penny. Some old miner lost that bugger. This target was an absolute screamer. That was a forty-five caliber slug. Man, oh man, I thought I had me a world record nugget there. <laughs> uh shoot. Yeah, a little bit of everything in here. The copper rivet. Man, did that bugger sound good. 
Unbelievable. Some kind of a key. Don't know what that was doing out there, but there it is. No treasure chest around here to dig up. <laughs> and as you can see, lots of finds. Lots of bullets. Lots of nails. Lots of stuff. And it's uh, pretty trashy out in the desert, but we did our part and cleaned some of that up. All right, well, that's about all I got for this week. Uh, next week we're going to have... I'm going to be out in the field. I'm going to be testing the uh, 151. And uh, we, find, we find some gold with it. Uh, but we have some problems with it. I found out I was losing gold. But uh, we'll leave that for next week. All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps out my channel. And it'll get you entered for the uh, giveaway when we get to 1,000. All right, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up, the like button at the bottom of the screen. And uh, leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. Okay, Prospector Paul, out. Uh -huh.